Nutrient management is a process of managing manure on a farm to minimize damage to the environment. Nutrient management seeks to use the nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium found in manure by applying it to cropland. Maximizing plant growth while avoiding nutrient loss caused by surface runoff or leaching. A typical farm has inputs and outputs. Inputs include feed, animals, fertilizer, and legumes that fix nitrogen. Outputs are animals, crops, and manure. Ideally, excess nutrients are transported off the farm or recycled through soil and plant uptake. Overspreading of manure may result in increasing levels of soil nutrients and potential losses through runoff. A nutrient management plan consists of the following. How much manure is generated and what is its nutrient content? Where will manure be spread and how much is disposed off farm? On fields that get manure input, what crops will be planted and their requirements? A nutrient management plan must account for commercial fertilizer as well as manure inputs. When we know all of this information, we can calculate soil nutrient inventories and assess nutrient losses. Records should be kept to properly evaluate the system and give feedback. The first step is to estimate how much manure is produced. We need to know the species, number of animals, breed, diet, and productivity of the animals. We need to know the animal's size. Obviously, a 1,400-pound cow will produce more manure than a 6-pound chicken. We need to know feed intake. The greater the intake, the greater the excretion. Nutrient content is important. Animals overfed with nitrogen or phosphorus will output more nutrients in their manure. It's important to know the duration of confinement. If animals spend most of the year on pasture, manure needn't be stored. However, nutrients excreted on pasture must be managed to prevent soil buildup. Water use also influences manure output, and too little water may result in lower production. Finally, bedding use will increase the nutrient content and amount of manure. This table describes manure production and nutrient content for different species. These values are used for both storage and spreading estimates. We can also obtain nutrient estimates by sampling manure and sending these samples to a laboratory. If you spread manure on a daily or weekly basis, or if you have a smaller farm, then use published values to make nutrient estimates. If bedding is an ingredient to be spread, consider the type of material and adjust manure weight and volume estimates based on how much bedding is used. A manure analysis report includes values for nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. For spreading purposes, manure should be applied in nitrogen, phosphate, or potash units because estimated plant uptake uses these units. Manure should not be spread near streams or lakes, and care should be taken to avoid high water tables. To avoid runoff, do not spread on slopes greater than 10%. One tool for managing land is the farm map, a map that outlines fields, roads, greater slopes, and the locale of bodies of water can help in developing a plan. Maps can be obtained from the USDA Natural Resources Conservation Service Center or printed from a website such as Google Earth. A hand-drawn map can also work. After determining how much manure is produced, it is also helpful to know the amount of nutrients in the soil. Your local county extension office can refer you to a laboratory that will analyze your soil. When a nutrient management plan is based on nitrogen, we must consider several sources available to plants. The sources are manure, fertilizers, legumes, and nitrogen breakdown from soil organic matter. Organic matter nitrogen is not available immediately to plant uptake. Nitrogen is more dynamic in soil than phosphorus and can be lost quickly to volatilization, leaching, or runoff. Phosphorus is likely to remain in the soil and may contribute to increasing phosphorus levels. It is usually only lost as runoff. Nitrogen and phosphate in manure are rarely balanced with crop needs. The ratio of nitrogen to phosphate in manure is about 2 to 1. Crops require a nitrogen to phosphate ratio of about 4 to 1. Spreading manure based on nitrogen requirements may cause us to overspread phosphorus. But if our nutrient management plan is based on phosphorus, we should add extra nitrogen to optimize crop growth. Once we determine which fields are acceptable for spreading, Yield estimates are made by using a crop uptake table, and spreading rates can be determined for a given level of production. Now that you have made your preparations, here are a few other considerations. Apply manure with the highest nitrogen content in the spring or fall and the lowest nitrogen content in the summer. Nitrogen will be more likely to be lost as atmospheric ammonia in the summer. Haul manure with the highest nutrient content to the farthest fields and apply manure with the lowest content to the closest fields. Nearby fields, because of close proximity to barns and grazing areas, may have already been overspread. 
Apply the manure with the highest nutrient content to crops with high nutrient demands. Use caution when applying manure to grazed pastures. Grazing animals will recycle manure nutrients, reducing the need for subsequent applications. To deter nitrogen leaching in groundwater, limit applications on sandy soil and avoid soils with high water tables, tile drains, or controlled drainage. To receive the most value from manure, apply high phosphorus manure to fields with the lowest phosphorus test levels. Here are some more tips that may help management. Don't spread within 100 feet of down gradient surface waters, 35 feet if a vegetative filter strip or buffer is used. Avoid spreading within 100 feet of wells and sinkholes. Whenever spreading, watch the weather to apply wisely. The green field is erodible ground near a stream. This field should be avoided for spreading, but the remaining fields are good candidates for spreading. Lush, well-managed pastures take up more nutrients from manure, are more productive, and present a lower risk of polluted runoff. Poorly vegetated pastures use fewer nutrients and are at greater risk of polluting runoff from manure spread or grazing animals. These pastures are also greater erosion risks. Even if we get other steps correct, spreading manure incorrectly will waste our efforts. It is important to know the amount of manure spread on a unit area. We do this by weight if we have a large enough scale, but most don't, so we will calibrate the manure spreader. For information on calibration, contact your local agricultural extension agent. You can also view the Rutgers Cooperative Extension video about calibration. Manure incorporation is important because it conserves nitrogen, reduces the possibility of ammonia volatilization losses, and reduces the risk of surface runoff of nitrogen, phosphorus, and organic matter. Following manure incorporation, winter wheat is sown and will use nutrients from the manure application. It will also conserve them for the next season. This crop will be harvested, but stubble will help keep nutrients in the soil and slow erosion. In one research study, erosion was reduced 88% and phosphorus losses 85% when a cover crop was included in the rotation. Let's review the development of a nutrient management plan for manure that has not been disposed off-farm. Estimate total manure production and nutrient content of available manure. Evaluate field risks, including erodible ground or high water tables. Choose an appropriate cropping system. Match nutrients with crop uptake. Adjust manure spreading rates for commercial fertilization. Remember to account for recycling on pastures that are grazed. Take care to use best practices for spreading management. Leave adequate buffers. Incorporate manure after spreading and drag harrow on pasture. Record the loads and the amount of manure spread. Evaluate your results to improve the process in seasons to come. Remember, a nutrient management plan and the use of best management practices allow you to become a better environmental steward on your farm or ranch.